Car theft in the UK is up 50% in the past five years, and 2018 saw an eight-year high for thefts, with 106,000 cars stolen in England and Wales. A new theft claim is being made every six minutes, and insurance payouts are £1 million a day. Widespread use of keyless entry is believed to be one reason for this. In this video, we're going to explain how that happens and what you can do to protect yourself against it. But make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel because we have lots of other advice videos and new car reviews coming up every single week. And if you do find a super safe car that you want to buy, then go to whatcar.com, head to the new car buying section, and in less than a minute, you'll be able to see exactly how much money we can save you. Keyless systems sense when the key is close to the car and unlock the car when the driver pulls on the door handle or touches a sensor on it. You can also start the car without a key. The key emits a code or a series of codes which are picked up by the antennae in the car's bodywork. However, this code sent from the key fob can also be grabbed by a scanning device. This is then sent to a booster unit that repeats the same code next to the car door to open it. If the car can be started without a key, this same booster can also be used while pressing the start button to fire up the engine and drive the car away. This is often referred to as a relay attack. In general, keyless entry fobs have a range of five to six meters, so one of the scanning units has to be no farther than this from the fob. The distance between the two scanners can be up to 50 meters though, so don't think that your car is safe just because the keys are a fair distance from it. If a thief can get close to the fob, the car is vulnerable. But there are some things you can do to help prevent car theft through your keyless system. If your keyless fob can be deactivated by pressing a button, make sure you use this function when the car isn't being used. Some key fobs have motion sensors that stop them from sending out a code when they're not moved for a certain period of time. If your car doesn't have one, check with a main dealer to see if you can buy one. Consider having keyless entry disabled. You can do this yourself on some cars from Citroen and Renault while others require you to take the car to a dealership and might charge for this. Invest in a Faraday bag or another car signal blocking pouch and keep the key in it all the time you're not using the car. Make sure it's big enough to close securely with the key in it. If possible, keep the keys at least five meters away from front doors and windows, but better still, put them in a safe overnight to prevent burglars from stealing them too. Invest in a steering wheel lock. It may sound like an old fashioned solution, but this will deter thieves from trying to take your car because they'll need to expend time and effort removing it. According to the police, cars with steering locks fitted are the least likely to be stolen. It's outrageous that some car makers have introduced keyless entry and keyless start systems without making them anywhere near as secure as the traditional alternatives they've replaced. A small number of brands have introduced new technology to combat theft, but it's clear that more needs to be done to improve security on many new and used cars with keyless entry and start systems. To find out what manufacturers are doing about this and to see which cars are better protected than others, click on the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more advice videos and for the latest new car reviews every single week. And once you've found a super safe car on whatcar.com, we can get you a great deal on it. Head to the new car buying section to have a look at how much you can save online straight away without any haggling.